Hello everyone, welcome to another FU Money. Today we are going to check how the price action is going with Bitcoin and if we have the time we also uh, we can also take a look at Ethereum uh, since Ethereum today is just going nuts. So let's see what's uh, what's going on with the charts. Let's go to the screen share. Okay, here we are with the price to time model. Let me just... Uh, increase the zoom here so you guys can see so the price doesn't matter for the price to time model because for the price to time model what matters is the price structure and the price structure tells me that we are healthy and sustainable right now because we are below the threshold the exponential curve and we are above the 20 period moving average so this is the second week in the red However, the support around 53 is holding tight and the price action is not going to the downside so far. Okay, so let's check the MRI charts. We start with the weekly chart. As you guys can see, we have touched the trend line, the white line around here going up, but we are still above the trend. So to me, I am not worried yet as you guys saw with the price to time model the price action is below the exponential curved line so that's good on the weekly chart we also have a trend line here that the price action should be above that's good we are still above although this is a red candle and we touched it and as you guys can see the trend line supported the price and sent the price action back to the upside we have been having uh, some ranging uh, candles on the four hour around this area above the trend line but on the weekly nothing has changed i am not bearish and everything looks good for the weekly as you guys can see the 20 moving uh, 20 period moving average is down here the green line let me just give you an idea so the price action right now is around 54 700 and i'm going to zoom so you guys can see that everything looks good the candle body is not even touching the trend line we had two touches on the trend line here they crossed over to the downside but quickly went back up and that is a good sign the trend line is holding the price so the rsi is going back down uh, below the overbought territory the macd however is a bit of a concern because the two lines are really close to each other as you guys can see here they are really close not touching yet but we should have another move to the upside before the blue line crosses the orange line that's what i'm hoping for because on the weekly if the macd crosses over to the other side of the orange line the blue line crosses to the other side that's a bearish sign and we don't want that so let's see what's happening quickly on the daily which is the chart i uh don't like so much as the previous ones so on the daily we have a touch here on the the candle body started below the trend line but quickly moved back up so nothing to be concerned yet i don't have a close below the trend line because the previous candle closed exactly on top of the trend line and the next candle started of course a bit below but has been going to the upside so so far so good the trend line is holding we are on a uh, um, we are on a red six of nine so we could still have a few more days of downside or probably just ranging sideways in this area in order to have a nine count on the red and probably a buy uh, signal on the mri so this is probably what is going to happen we could just go sideways for some time probably get a nine count or even before the nine count we could start a new uptrend a reversal on the price action and the mri uh, if we go to the nine of course would give us a buy signal and we could start a new uptrend from there so as you guys can see the volume also start uh, stopped declining so we are now having the the you know the orange line of the volume which is the average uh, is going sideways we are not going down anymore so that's a good uh, sign also it means people are trading more and probably this will help the as we are in a bull market this will help the reversal of the price action 
Uh, on the daily, the MACD, however, is bearish, but we are now, uh, so you see the momentum of the bearish um, bars is uh, stopping going to the downside. So we are now reaching some kind of uh, sideways on the bars. And this means that the momentum to the downside is also declining. Uh, so let's check the four hour. Let me just wait for the MRI to load. So on the four hour, we had a crossover, but we went back to the upside. We had a touch, a second touch. Then we closed one candle below the trend line, but this is only the four hour chart. So we don't have a daily close or a weekly close be below the trend line. And quickly the price action went back to the upside again and is now ranging sideways. I, I see that in the next few hours or just in the next few days, we are setting up a volatile move because the price is being squeezed between the trend line and the moving averages and that always precedes some kind of volatile move i hope to the upside in accordance to the mri uh, that would be very good if we can time that with the uh, uh, nine red the mri nine red which would be a buy signal to the upside on the daily so I hope that goes that way and we don't have to go down to the 46 or 48,000 area to have a long opportunity here. Uh, although I know there's a lot of people on the sidelines waiting for the 46 to 48 or even 50 just to get into Bitcoin again. And that would probably uh, trigger a reversal to the upside in a more uh, explosive way. I don't know what's going to happen, but of course I'm prepared for both uh, scenarios. If we go to the 48, 46, I have already uh, some um, money on the side to get in. If we reverse the price here and we go to the upside, I can always uh, follow the trend on the breakout of the all time high and continue from there. So there are several options you can think about, and I hope you guys keep uh, watching these um, uh, briefings every day so that you get updated about what options you have to follow the trend or to go long when we correct a bit more. So let's go to the one hour just to check. So let me just check here on the four hour before the one hour the uh, BitMEX funding rate. So as you guys can see the BitMEX funding rate is below my threshold of 0.11%. We have been going up because the price was trying to reverse before above the trend line. However, this is still a good uh, BitMEX funding rate. We did not cross the red line. Let's just check the one hour quickly. I'm not even going to the chart of Bitcoin. Here it is, no red line. So everything looks good. We are around the 0.07%. That's uh, not... Um, overextended so there's no reason to believe that the bitmax funding rate is telling us the market sentiment will go to the downside so let's take a look on the pro framework pro indicators framework so as you guys seen yesterday uh, we have let me just check the four hour quickly see what the shorter time frame looks like so this is the area of interest I, I plotted yesterday, this orange rectangle around here. This goes from the 50, uh, sorry, I moved it a bit to the upside $2,000. So my, my, the side of the lower uh, price would be 46,000 and the upper side is on the 50,000. So I have a $4,000 area here where we could still go in this price action. The trend channel already inside that area of interest. You see the green zigzag here. We could have an ABC correction uh, forming. And if that is the case, let me just go a bit there to the upside. It's not easy to navigate the zoom. Okay, so this could be an A, B, C correction and then a reversal to the upside to continue the trend. But let's see what happens. So let me just draw it for you guys. I still have my Fibonacci here from yesterday. As you guys can see, this is getting into the green area right now. So below that, any area below the green and especially if you go inside this orange rectangle, that's a good, uh, uh, that's a good entry for a long on Bitcoin. But let me just uh, plot the ABC correction for you guys. This is something that could happen. I'm not saying that will, but we 
can always have the subjective. So this is something that could happen. This is one of the scenarios. Uh, we could still have a bit more of downside going into the orange rectangle. This is a good area for support. I don't mind at all. If Bitcoin goes here, I am ready to go long. I am ready to increase my positions. So this would be a nice option for me. If we don't go here and we have a reversal in the next few hours or days to the upside, you guys know already that if we go above the dashed orange line which is the third range boundary of the previous ranging uh, breakout line if you go above that and if we enter the red zone especially enter the red zone or above this is a good opportunity to take some profit off the table and wait for the indications of what the market will do next so don't do anything this is my advice don't do anything while we are in the middle of the red or green zones this is the dump zone you never know which way it's going to be if it's going to go to the upside or to the downside there's 50 50 probabilities and in my book that is not trading that is gambling so if you don't know no one knows what's going to happen here inside this area don't trade it just wait be patient no problem you have the opportunity to go along here you have the opportunity here to take some profit and wait for the indications of the market if we continue to go up from this point on you can just follow the trend and get back in again and that's not a bad choice for you guys so let me just go quickly here to the ethereum charts ethereum is going crazy today as you guys can see on the four hour we are way above the resistance context which is the gray uh, box we already passed any uh, um, indications of the pro framework indicator we are way overextended today so i don't know if this is going to stop it seems the market is going really crazy with ethereum um, this is the Ethereum BTC pair, by the way. So Ethereum is valuating a lot against Bitcoin. Uh, I guess a lot of people are swapping Bitcoin for Ethereum during this move. If they are doing that, that's a good move. You can increase your position in Bitcoin later when Ethereum values a bit more. On the weekly, we have... Yeah, Ethereum is still very low compared to the numbers I remember, which was the... 0.17 this was a very good very good uh price action for ethereum against bitcoin and probably we are going to see the next resistance will be around 0 0.05 0 0.06 so that's uh what my chart is saying that's the next level of resistance so i'm expecting ethereum to at least go to 0 0.05 in the in this move the current move let's check the daily the daily looks very very bullish so as you guys can see we are exactly at the top of the resistance context which is the gray box bill uh, behind the price action we are above all the expectations uh, for the indicator we are having all the bullish signs that this might continue a bit more to the upside we are now touching the 0 0.48 0 0.048 exactly as we speak so that's a that's a very good um that's a very good move for ethereum today let's just have a look at the us dollar pair wow that looks very very bullish to me we are still below what the uh, let me see 2722 would be the approximate uh, top for this move. I'm not saying that it will stop there. However, this is the expected. Uh, so let me see, this is daily. Let me check the weekly, where we are on the weekly. Wow, so that's, that's a really good, uh, this is a very bullish structure for the price action. So Ethereum is going completely crazy today. Uh, I'm happy for people holding uh, Ethereum bags. I hope you make money. I hope you sell it when uh, it reaches the expectations you have. And don't wait for Ethereum to come back down in a big correction. If you have to make money, just take your profit. I would say that this move could take us to the 
2750 probably 2800 that's possible let's see where this takes us but the price structure is completely bullish i prefer to focus on the the btc pair because that's what interests me i have some ethereum bags i want to trade for bitcoin so i'm still not doing anything i'm going to wait for at least the break of this level which is the 0.17 where we were i had the opportunity to trade ethereum by bitcoin here in the in june of 2017 however i did not take that opportunity so let's see if this opportunity will come in the future so remember guys if you are trading in the pair ethereum bitcoin the next area of resistance is around the 0.05 if you are trading the pair with the us dollar the next area of resistance is nowhere. This is price discovery. This is the highest price Ethereum ever had. So we don't have any indications where it could stop. Although I believe that we are not going to overextend this much more, maybe probably a few hundred dollars more, and then we could have some retracement or uh, sideways action to consolidate the prices. So that's my view for Ethereum. Okay, so I'm going to stop the screen share. So today we spoke a bit about Bitcoin, just summing it up a bit. We are above the trend line. I'm not expecting much more uh, downside unless we break the trend line. If that is the case, we could see price action going to the area between 46,000 to 50,000. That will be a very good long uh, speculation area if you want to go long on Bitcoin again if you want to increase your position if we don't see that and we keep above the trend line it's possible that we can see a reversal of the price action to the upside in the next few hours or days I see and sense with the charts that we are getting squeezed between the trend line and the moving averages and usually that precedes again a volatile move we hope for the upside on the ethereum uh, we checked for the first time i guess on the show on the show we checked ethereum uh, at no one's request just because i just wanted to see it and you guys saw my opinion i'm very bullish on ethereum today against the bitcoin pair uh, and also the us uh, the us dollar pair the us dollar pair is an all-time high already we never been there before so we don't really know where it could stop and start to consolidate or have a bit of retracement however on the bitcoin pair you already know that the next area of resistance is 0 0.059 almost 0 0.06 but it could start to stop before the 0 0.6 and around 05. So that's it for today, guys. Uh, if you enjoy the content, uh, please gently touch the like button, share this video with your friends, help to grow the community, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.